Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing well. Today I am going to show you service portal and maintain item settings. So how to show uh, maintain items like items on the portal, okay? And how to adjust the portal settings for maintain item, okay? Let's see. Our agenda is how to show the item on service portal or any other portals, okay? And portal settings for maintain item. Okay, let's see. So log into your instance. So let's go to, let's see our, our item. Okay, go to maintain items, uh, which we created uh, in the past video called uh, create user. Okay. So if I click on create a user, okay. So we can try it on, uh, or not the light view. Okay, let's see how it's how uh, it's is in portal. Okay, let's duplicate and let's open our uh, default portal called. Uh, okay, the Uh, log into your instance. Uh, okay, uh, let's go to maintain items and open your item which we created in the uh, last section or last class. Okay, uh, create a user. Okay, create a user. So if we try to open in IT view, it opens. Okay, and we have like order now, add, uh, add to cart or quantity, everything. Okay, so let's see uh, from the portal view how it looks. Okay, let's duplicate this one and let's open our portal. Okay, called SP. It's a default portal. Okay, so our uh, uh, service portal is the default portal SP. Okay, so to open uh, our items, we go to request something or something else. And we don't see here our uh, uh, administration as a catalog and user is a category. So I don't see here and search with um, create a user. Okay, and search create a user. So we don't see here any of our items or anything. Okay, so to show our item on the portal view, so what are the steps we need to do? Go to the maintain items. No, not go to the go to the portal. Okay, go to the portal. Portals, and what is our uh, service portal? Okay, SP is our the service portal. Under this uh, portals related links, uh, I mean tabs, you have catalogs. So we have only service catalog. You add our another catalog called uh, user admin administration is our catalog. Okay, so we add it here. Okay, now go to the portal and refresh it. Now you can see the create a user. And now you can see the different catalogs, administration catalog and service catalog. Okay, so uh, if you want administration catalog, click on administration catalog. Okay. Or, for example, if you go to home page, uh, click on request something. So you see all catalogs here. Okay, administration or service catalog, administration. Okay, you have user category, and then the user category you have a create a user. Okay, so this is how uh, it shows in the um, portal. Okay, for example, uh, if I want to order, if I, if I want to order now, I will click on order now. I will submit this one and uh, I will fill all this in and I will order it. Okay, so when when I'm trying to order, okay, so I'm getting confirmation call like who is requested for system administration or someone. What is the delivery information? What is the specific instructions? And then check out. Okay, so when you are checking out, then the item submits. Okay, the request will be created. If you go back again, 
I don't want uh, 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 double confirmation. If I if I click here, it directly submit a request. Then how I need to do? Okay, then go to maintain items. Go to maintain items. Go to maintain items. Open your item. Okay. Uh, create a user or okay. So here in the portal settings, you have request method called order, okay, or request or submit. What happens if we if we click on um, request and save it? To reload it. See delivery time is two days and if i click on request and it then it shows request confirmation the so request for and special introduction and delivery information is not there that uh, for delivery information if you want you need to have order okay no request it is so it's like that if i change to submit okay submit and save it and refresh it then if i click on submit it directly submitting it, there is no confirmation there is no pop up second pop up or second checkout okay or something like that okay then go back again see in the portal settings we have we can hide add to cart we can hide quantity we can hide delivery time if you want to show the add to cart and quantity and delivery time just uncheck this one okay just uncheck this one and save it okay now you got it quantity you got it delivery time you got it okay add to cards you got it and submit you got it all these things you got it and add attachments okay when you submitting okay you want to make uh, attachments mandatory then uh, just go and click on um, mandatory attachments and save it okay so then or uh, refresh it and then try to submit so then attachments are not added okay then it shows the mandatory so for any items if there is an ad, any attachments that is required just you just you go in the portal settings and um, mandatory attachments okay these are only for portal settings not for um, it view okay so if you want to hide attachments you can hide it add to wish list you can wish list okay or something okay if i want to hide it hide attachments i will go and refresh it so there is no attachment button here okay so when you are hiding you cannot do mandatory attachment of course okay when you are hiding why what is the necessary of mandatory attachment right so that is not required okay so that's about a portal settings Okay, how um, uh, you you can create the request or okay how you can submit the request how 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 you can show the quantities delivery time add to cart okay for example if you click on add to cart what happens it goes to the cart view and if you go to the view cart okay then you can see and you can change from here and you can delete also okay and you can proceed to checkout so when we are proceeding to checkout it is in uh, second level okay checkout it gives you order confirmations okay so that's about a portal settings and how to show the items on the portal okay how to show the different catalogs on the portal okay for example if here all portals okay different uh, different catalogs on portal how do we can show if you are using same uh, catalog okay you no need to do anything you just uh, uh, add categories okay uh, map the categories okay then it will automatically shows okay if the category is not having any item then those category will not be seen or in future if you want if you don't want to show this item on the portal or anywhere just you deactivate it nothing to do it just deactivate it and save it see create a user okay there is only one item under user category under catalog okay if i refresh it now okay now you don't see you won't see because no items is active or no items is available under this 
category or under this only one catalog item we created under uh, catalog and under category. If we activate it, then it will show you two, two parts. OK. Then it will show you administration and OK. So for example, if any uh, any other category is having only one item and if it is deactivated, then those category will not be shown in the portal. OK, so only the active items should be present in the categories or catalog. OK, that's it. OK, so uh, in the upcoming uh, section, we will see how we submitted now. So what will happen in the back end? What workflow will trigger? So those related to process widget, we will see. OK. Yeah, thank you. Please do subscribe to get alerts for upcoming videos. Hope you will enjoy and learn service now. Thank you very much for your time.